Hey everybody, Vicar Pancaw here with another video devotional. Here in this seven week series, we're going on together, running right up to Pentecost. The focus of this week is grace, God's transforming grace. The scriptures that I want to encourage you to read on your own. And by the way, the reason we're encouraging you to read them on your own is because you can come on a, a Sunday and hear the scriptures and then you, it fades. You forget the application that God wants you to make to your life. So studying the scriptures for yourself is vital. It's vital to us really understanding. Acts chapter 9, verses 1 through 22. The amazing story of Saul's conversion. And then John 21, verses 1 through 19. Uh, if you remember that gospel, uh, Jesus appearing again to his disciples at the Sea of Galilee and the restoration of Peter. It finishes with that big restoration of Peter. So these are two stories, uh, one of Paul, the other of Peter, both receiving the transformational grace of God. And you know, we've got a, a dilemma in our world these days where Christians don't really understand grace, the potency of grace, the, the impact that grace was intended by God to truly have in our lives, not just to make us feel safe and like we're going to heaven, our sins are forgiven, though that is true as we come repentantly before the Father, but to now let that grace transform us thoroughly as it transformed Peter and Paul. Peter, if you remember, had just denied Christ three times. And Jesus, I think that's one of the big reasons why he went through the three times in a row. Do you really love me? Do you phileo me? Do you agape me? Do you, you know, do you really love me? Because getting through to hard-headed A-type people like me, I, I relate to Peter and Paul very much. There's a key core truth that we all have to wrestle with. That I can do nothing in and through my own strength. And it's the grace of God. It's the trusting in him and him alone, in his forgiveness to, so that I'm justified, saved by grace through faith. And then his grace sanctifies. I'm transformed. I live by grace through faith in him, not in us. And it's from those points forward that their ministries had explosive supernatural power attached to their ministries. But it all starts with an understanding of grace. One of the easy ways to think about grace, it's the unmerited favor of God. There's nothing you can do to earn it, nothing you can do to lose it, other than push it away. So the question is, are you pushing away the transformational grace of God, which was, again, not just intended to save you, but to transform you forever? They would live in that grace daily. We become people of grace who offer God's forgiveness to others because those who've been forgiven much, us, Forgive much. God strengthens us to forgive those who wrong us. And for many people, that might be their first taste of the grace of God. Think about Saul on the road to Damascus, literally out persecuting the church. And instead of annihilating him, God just blinds him. Of course, symbolically to show him, you're a zealous man, but you're blind. You don't really see how to connect with God and how to help others connect with God. And he cries out, Lord, who are you? And Jesus says, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. And that's radically transforms Paul's life. He's led to Damascus where God uses one of his servants to open literally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, open the eyes of Paul. Again, another person zealous for God, wanting to bring about things in his own strength. And he learned right there and then that he lives, he's saved by grace through faith because God should have taken him out because he was a part of, remember, the stoning of Stephen and persecuting quite a few people. But it's not about that. It's about understanding and then coming to a point where you can be used of God. Let God use your life as an instrument of grace, as an instrument of forgiveness, as an emotionally healthy person in this world. It all starts with grace. So I want to challenge you to think about the transformational grace of God and its application to your life this week. Study these scriptures and pray that God would help you live more by grace through faith in him. In Jesus' name, amen.